right, without further ado, you have a very funny host this evening, man. This guy's been with us, I know, since we've started. And he's been in the comedy game a very long time, and he's a very funny host, very funny dude. He's been in some films with Sylvester Stallone back in the day. He's been on every comedy show that's out there on television. Y'all put your hands together, give a warm welcome for your host, Mr. Sean Jones! Go ahead, push, push control off the lead. Go ahead, clock out. We won't need you. Y'all give it up for the baddest DJ on laptop right now. <laughs> DJ iTunes. Give it up for the white people that's been here since 6.30. <laughs> white people get to the show, they set 9. It's about 9.05. They're not ready yet. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 you're damn right. We got shit to do. Black people send one black person. Go see what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go in there yet. This is good. Give it up for the uh, the driveway light that they got up here. This is when you're pulling somebody's driveway on your hedges and shit. Well, I tell you, black cop, he gonna put it right in my face and shit. Thank you very much. I got the damn sun shining in my damn face. Got the thugs up front, they want to clap. <laughs> That's some shit. I'm sorry, I got the fucking sun shining in my damn face right now. Got the little cute couple right here. What y'all just met on eHarmony earlier? What's going on? Yeah. You don't even know his real name yet, just his log on name, huh? Sweet Dick 69 at Yahoo. That's all right. All right, you got the mic. Good, good, good to do a mic check during the show. That's good shit right there. I like that. Y'all already have a good time, no man. Y'all already have. We in Marietta. We near Atlanta. All right, yeah. How, how many people born and raised in Atlanta? Anybody from Atlanta? Born? All right, three people. Everybody else migrated here, yeah. What is the speed limit here now? Do what the fuck you want to do with that speed limit. Y'all get on that 285 and you lose your fucking mind. <laughs> Y'all realize that's the highway and not the speed limit, right? Look at that bitch. I get my car by 280. My shit's not shaking by 280. <laughs> that's the first highway that's been passed by a Ford Focus. I swear to God. Atlanta, man. Y'all are good people, man, but when it comes to driving, y'all some rude-ass people. Oh my God. Yeah. When y'all get behind the steering wheel, y'all some rude fuckers. You ever been in the left-hand lane trying to put your signal on and get over to get off at the next exit? Shit. Y'all must be the only you. You don't, jackass. Fuck you. Fuck him. I see him. He is not getting over. He kiss my ass. He should have stayed in this lane when he got on the highway. What the fuck he did in the left-hand lane for? He knew he was going to have to get off. He should have stayed in this damn lane. I circled 285 13 times. I said, we get off and come here tonight. Shit. That Ford Focus would not let my ass over. Anybody ever fell asleep while you were driving? Anybody ever done that before? You done that? Wasn't that the best nap you ever had in your fucking life? That's some good ass sleep. You can't even prepare for that kind of nap. It's not even for a long time, but it feels like you've been asleep for a long ass time. You be driving like, oh shit. That was that about two weeks? That was a good ass nap right there. Good. I'm good for no 20 miles now, I'm good. You hit that tree, that shit work like a long clock, don't I? Pow! Time to get up, we hit the tree, we hit the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you ever hit those ridges on the side of the highway? <laughs> yeah, those are little vroom. <laughs> that make you find Jesus, won't it? <laughs> you can be an atheist, you're like vroom. Holy shit, let me get my shit together. I'll pull it to the church, see if Jesus wanna be my co-pilot. It gotta be some gospel on this radio. It gotta be a gospel station on here. I just shit on myself right this fucking time. I like y'all, man. Y'all all right. I'm gonna have fun, man. But I know I was gonna have this much fun. I'd have turned my car off. Shit, I'd have stayed a while. I, I'm like, they hooked the double wide up to the billion. This is nice right here. I'm gonna take the wheels off this bitch. This club be in the shop next week for all change and tuna. We got some good looking ladies. Where my good looking ladies at? Let me say hey. All right, some of y'all got low self esteem. Like, hey. We up in here, but we ain't all that. Where the brothers at? You got money in your pocket, man. Let me hear you bark. There's some broke ass puppies up in there. <laughs> that brother even sound like a dog. He's out to see you. Hurt. He put a ball on his nose. <laughs> uh, all right, calm down. That's $3 right there. Huh? 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 Where my big girls at? We in the south. I know we got some big women here. Let me say, let me say buffet. <laughs> I know you out there just waving that chicken. Here we is. 
Look at them out there chewing, they eating shit, just practicing. Hey, my, my, my. Atlanta, boy, I love it. The home of the mega church and strip clubs. Yeah, black people don't want to talk about mega churches right now. Cause Eddie Long Dong is out there, man. But I don't give a shit about Eddie Long. He gets mad about. I don't trust no minister that take this picture in America. Fuck you. You got the same picture my girl sent me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at white people confused. See, Eddie Long is his minister, right? I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? Eddie Long? Isn't he a football player? That's Howie Long's brother. <laughs> I tell you, man, that damn Eddie Long. I don't trust a minister that wear a muscle shirt in 2010. You can't even buy muscle shirts in stores anymore. You got a bid on them bitches on eBay. He on his Saturday night, I'm gonna get this pink one, this fuchsia one. I'm gonna kill him Sunday morning with this salmon muscle shirt. I'm gonna be at $13 on that one at the last 30 seconds right there. <laughs> I love it, man. That ain't long. Yeah, people disappointed in him, you know, possibly touching these young brothers. Shit, I don't give a shit. I got faith in God, not in man. So I ain't, I'm not surprised by anything a man does. So, fuck it. That's right. But uh, I love but one thing y'all got here is strip clubs. And, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, you like that? Look at that goddamn right. I like the fucking titty, boy. I like to see some tits. <laughs> Holy shit. He, <laughs> that straight redneck right there. See that vein? He's a, <laughs> thought he was at NASCAR right now. <laughs> I know you love, you like NASCAR too, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> that fucker got a monster truck outside. That's all right. Who's your favorite driver, man? 88. 88? You don't need to say fucking 88. Look at the fucking hat. You got, the, you got the little red neck jerk. Look at the fucking hat, asshole. That's the, look, he got up. He's serious about his shit. I got the fucking shirt. I got the underwear on, too. You are serious about that shit. Black people don't even understand the whole NASCAR shit. Y'all get excited. I went to my first race. I'm, I'm friends with Kyle Bush. Kyle took me to a race, yeah. Went down there, down there to Concord, down at the racetrack, yeah. They sit there for eight hours and watch the same fucking cars go in circles. How could I not enjoy this shit? That's the same thing that happened on 285 at 530. Shit. Gonna pay money to watch this shit. They, they, when I walk in there, they was probably like, oh my God, here come the black man. Let me tell you, NASCAR fans, you never have to worry about black people running down there to see NASCAR races. You know, we play basketball, football, we play hockey, we even, you know, we play golf and all that stuff now. But NASCAR, you ain't never got to worry about us coming down there and taking over that shit. Because what, y'all drive about 500 laps in NASCAR? Yeah. Yeah, black people ain't gonna sit there and watch the same cars go past us 500 times. So we get scared when the same car comes to our neighborhood twice in one day. But that's that same car, y'all get the house, get the house. Get, get the baby, fuck the baby, we'll get a new baby. Get the fucking house, get the fucking house. They get a new baby. That's that same damn car, I'm telling you that's that same car. We get a new baby. Two shit right there, boy. We ain't gonna sit there and watch that shit. He didn't move out there. All right. Make sure you tip the waitress too, cause they working the hard. Black people say white waitress, boy, y'all will work the shit out of her ass. Like, go get me a straw. Uh, you only got food. I suck my damn grease off the chicken. Make sure you tip. <laughs> she is nervous as shit. Who ordered chicken? Everybody. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna fuck you, asshole. She's got the little white girl booty. <laughs> They got protection. You got, you you got one ass cheek, but we gonna work on them. Make sure you tip my girl, cause she working real hard. Y'all give it up for her, cause she running the bar and she's serving food. Working her ass up. Well, this, is, this is a little, little melting pot. We got the white people. We got the little waitress. Got the little Indian DJ. <laughs> he might be, what would you like to hear? <laughs> Uh, let me hear that young Gigi. Let me get 10 on pump four. <laughs> okay, my friend. <laughs> he don't even talk like that. That's it. He's like, motherfucker, I fucked him up. That's 
my dog right there. That's my dog. Holy shit. Hey, turn this light up a little bit brighter. I don't think I'm done cooking yet. God damn. Is Negro on the menu? Look on the menu. Shut up, man. Holy shit. Somebody watching the show on TiVo. That was a little delayed reaction. Everybody finished that. Oh, we missed that one. Fuck. You got to speed this shit up. But I'd like to see a well-diverse crowd. That's one thing here at Fat Comedy. We don't believe in color. It's for everybody. Laughter is universal. So come and sit with the rest of the family. Y'all ain't got to sit by the exit. Just in, <laughs> just in case something pop up. We're the fuck out of here. I fuck the rest of the song, bitches. That's what I do. What's your name, man? What's your name? Joseph. Why you gotta fucking hold your hat up? <laughs> fucking Joseph. So bitch, that's who I am. Fucking Joseph. <laughs> What do you do for a living, man? Warehouse. Oh, warehouse? <laughs> what, you just fucking walk around the warehouse? What? Is he here on a field trip? What's wrong with that little retarded man? <laughs> man, Johnson, <Joseph>, wow! <laughs> Is he laughing? Make sure he's laughing. He'll kill everybody. I'll fucking kill all you son of bitches. Go get my fucking rifle out the gun rack in the truck. Now, you're a good dude, man. I don't want to make you mad. Uh, yeah, I tell you, like I said, this comedy for everybody, you know, black, white, because we got to learn how to get along now, because if we die, we all go in the same place. <laughs> look at the white people looking at me now like, Ooh. we didn't know y'all were coming with us. What y'all think, black people going to get to heaven, throw chicken bones on the clouds, loud rap music playing, have Jesus doing an electric slide with us. Come on, Jesus, that's my song right there. I know it's still black people here still do the electric slide. How many people still do the electric slide? Y'all, my country is a horse with dress shoes. That is some country shit. Black people think they the shit when they do it. You ever had that person in your family that do a little extra on their slide and they went to electric slide school? They got to outdo everybody like, shit, fuck you, you can't yeah. get this <laughs> hey, what the fuck are you doing? I thought you was catching a seizure. Your damn kids looking at your ass do that shit. No damn shimmy in the side. Shit your ass down. They got a good show. <laughs> oh my God, man. Y'all all right. Y'all a good group, man. I almost called y'all a crowd by mistake, you know. Y'all almost a crowd. Y'all like the little group that could. Y'all got potential. Y'all all right, thugs? Y'all want something to drink, man? Some gunpowder on the rocks? <laughs> y'all cool? Y'all ain't got no women just uh, dick night out? <laughs> you got chicks in the back? <laughs> Look, he had to leave. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> You didn't realize there was two other dicks at the table besides yours. Man, I knew it was something wrong. Uh oh, now it's a date. I'm with your security. We don't even have security in this bitch. We got the light, but we now flash this light in your face. <laughs> he just went and found some random women. They're like, you better move. I have mace. I will spray you. I'm just fucking with y'all. Where y'all brothers from, man? Where you from, brothers? D.C. D.C.? All right, where you from? D.C. too? Hey. Hey, damn, who the fuck is your travel agent? <laughs> the fuck was he from Haiti? <laughs> like, I am not from here. I, I have come here tonight to find my queen. <laughs> she is here at the, <laughs> at the Marietta Villa. <laughs> she, <laughs> I have seen her. She has been walking around today. I, I'm going to come back with my cab, and we are going to leave here. <laughs> not the cab, not He is not laughing. Security. <laughs> so you from Haiti, man? <laughs> That's hot shit. I ain't going to piss you off. <laughs> I know you got a little straw in your pocket. <laughs> I told you not to fuck with me, okay? I have many more in my pocket. <laughs> What's your name, man? What's your name, brother? He don't even want to say it. <laughs> How much time do you have to listen to my name? I will fill up that whole board right here. Every letter in the alphabet and number is in my name. You spell my name E-U-Q-2 <laughs> Pi symbol. <laughs> Bless you, brother. You're a good dude. What's your, what you, so you from DC? There it is again. Y'all are late as shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking delayed reaction and shit. Oh, happy.
back to show. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to stay up here too long because we got a lot of great comics tonight, man. Once again, we appreciate y'all so much for coming out to the first annual, the, the official first show here at the Marietta Billiard uh, with Fat Comedy. Once again, give them a round of applause, man. Give them a round of applause. That you've seen on television, a lot of comics that are up and coming. All I want y'all to do, do me a favor. Whatever comic comes up here, give them a chance to do their material. Some comics might not be to your liking, but keep it quiet. Give them a chance because this is a very hard job. I started this 16 years ago and it took a lot of work. So there was a day where I was a new jack and I had to build up to where I am today with God's blessing. So I got a lot of young friends that's going to come up here tonight for the first time. So show them love, show them support. All right, can y'all do that for me? Also, if you have a cell phone, please put it on vibrate women. Uh, put it in your panties. <laughs> I just want to see a tear come down your eye during the show. And, uh, if you have, if you have uh, a pager, uh, kill yourself because uh, nobody has a pager. <laughs> who that? Who that? Martin Luther King. <laughs> All right, but we got a great show. Man. We got a Bunch of comments coming up. Make sure you order a lot of alcohol, man. You need anything? You need yeah, that, that, that. She was on time with that one, wasn't she? You back already, sweetheart? It was just a poop. <laughs> she ran to the bathroom like, uh, I think that's, I got a little turtle head just now. <laughs> hey, when you got a shit, you don't give a shit what's going on, do you? Ain't that right, brother? You look like you had fucked up a restroom in Walmart. They got orange cone, nah, somebody shit on the ceiling. Man, we love the shit. I'm glad, I'm a, I, I, you like, I know you like the shit. Fucking right, son, bitch! Ever get that vein down your head, look like 285 on your face? <laughs> you ever push real hard and you go deaf for a few minutes? That's a good one right there. You like, oh, holy shit, I can't hear. Oh my goodness, I think I did shit out my eardrum. Don't flush the toilet, my eardrum is in there. But like I said, man, we got a great show. It's not about me, man. It's about all my friends that's on the show tonight. If y'all ready for the first comic, let me hear you say, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Come on, y'all got more energy than that. You ready for the first comic, let me hear you say, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, I'm gonna bring this young man to the stage. He's right here from Atlanta, GA. Give it up for Frank Cardwell, y'all. Come on, clap your hands for him. off with a question. Um, who here is really close to family members? Anybody? All right, here we go. Actually, my best friend is my first cousin, Greg, and uh, I think he kind of keeps me around because we're exact opposites. You know what I'm saying? Like, women find this dude attractive. We're opposites, okay? Like, he's got money. I have none. He's not a failure in his career. And what makes it all what really wraps it up for this dude is like he's the most generous dude I've ever met in my entire life. I mean, you can't outfriend him. Anything you do for him, he'll have your back if you're a friend of his. In fact, I was out with him last week and he forgot his cash and one of his buddies bought him a beer and paid for his dinner. And you know what Greg did in return? He sucked his dick. Oh. <laughs> it's because he's gay. He loves dicks. I mean, he didn't have to buy him a beer. He would have done it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, and I'm not saying he's like a little gay, like nigga watches Glee on Tuesdays. I mean, he's a full-up ambush pedophile. My cousin is so gay, he won't come to Atlanta because there's not enough gays. My cousin